a nice and easy moving through spine flexion and extension like to add a little pull back in the roundedness back and then come forward whatever feels good right now have the feet flat or you could curl the toes under Exhale, really use that breath. Inhale. Could be three more all on your own. Last time, come back to neutral. And then just step your right foot to your outside of your right hand. Hands are on the inside. Lizard pose. Just sink those hips down. Try to get your knee over your ankle. Make sure your knee is comfortable back there. You can always have it on a padding. And then move your hand to the outside, move your foot in a little bit and pull back to your hamstring stretch. We're going to go back and forth. Lizard, hamstring. So just move your hands with you. Beautiful, a couple more. And then meet me forward. Now walk your right foot to the right edge of the mat. Bring your hands in. Maybe turn the toes up a little bit. The heel is down. Your toes are opening to the side. Your foot's opening to the side. And again, maybe move those hips around. And then lower the foot down fully and pull back to your hamstring stretch here. So a little bit of a turned out position. Getting into the inner thigh. And maybe hold it back and just move that ankle around, make some circles. and change direction with those circles. And bring that leg back and just sit on your feet for a second. A couple of neck rolls, bring your chin to your chest. Right ear rolls to right shoulder. A little look up at the sky. Two more. Last one in this direction and switch it. Two more. Last time. Lovely. Come back to all fours. Bring your left foot to the outside of your left hand. And just sink down. Gonna get this lovely stretch in the right hip flexor, the right thigh. Maybe wiggle the hips around. See where you're feeling it. Hand comes on the ins uh, outside of your foot and pull back to your hamstring stretch. And back and forth. Just move your hands accordingly back and forward. Couple more. And then 
to bring that foot to the left corner and again open the foot like a little book let that knee open move those hips around it's lubrication for the joint and then lower that foot down and come back to that little turned out hamstring stretch so back and forth couple more and we'll hold it back and do those ankle circles next time just hold it back toes to the sky and just move those toes around in a circle and reverse it lovely bring that knee back let's go to down dog nice easy down dog hands out in front of your shoulders curl those toes under and lift and pedal it out Hold one side, just stretch that leg. And switch. And back to tabletop. Bring the right arm up. Open it towards the sky. We're gonna thread it through come down onto that shoulder and ear Unwind, bring that arm one more stretch up to the side, and then let's switch sides. Bring it through. Push into your right hand to rise, left arm to the sky. Beautiful, and back down and sit back on your feet. Let's take a right arm up to the sky. And bend it to your back. Let's do a little tricep stretch. And change sides when you're ready. Beautiful. Expand the arms, bring them behind you, open up your chest. And release it. Bend those legs out in front of you. Nice and wide. Right foot comes into the left inner thigh and just lean forward. Keep a nice active foot over here. And just breathe. And then very slowly walk over, over towards that left straight leg. Feel 
be feeling a nice stretch down your right side. We're going to float that right hand behind the right hip, arm up and maybe lift. And come back down again and go back to the straight leg. Let's do that four times. Last one. Lovely. And then just walk it back to the center. Feel like you're pulling the mat towards you under your hands. Try to take the roundedness out of your back. And then walk it back nice and slowly. Just take your hands behind your head, clasp your head, push it back. Pull your elbows back. And let's just do a little movement, right and left. And maybe down with the chin. And then press your head into your hands, a little look up. And release. Other side, right leg out, left foot in. And walk it out. Check that foot is nice and flexed to the sky. Wiggle around, see if you can get into any other little space. And then when you're ready, left hand behind your left hip. And rise. All more on your own. Last one. And come back to the center and walk it forward one more time. Walk it back nice and slowly. Take those legs out straight in front of you. A little bend with the knees. So about a fist space here, toes up to the sky, sit up tall. Arms up and just fold over your legs. So just reach, reach, reach until you feel something and put your hands down. Looking straight forward past your toes. Feel that nice stretch across your lower back. And if you can, you can start to shimmy your hips back until your legs go straight. That means you change where your hands are, that's totally fine. And walk it back nice and slowly. Let's do our sideline quad stretch. Over to one side. Lay down, hold your head, bend that leg. Bring your heel in, holding your ankle. Feel 
see if you can flex your foot. They come out of that side and we'll switch to the other side. So again, try to go for the ankle, not the um, foot, if you can. If you can squeeze your glute, drive your hip forward. the knee maybe behind the torso and very gently release it and meet me on your knees facing forward so you've got the mat on either side of your legs going into frog pose so from here to bring your knees and walk them out and bring your feet out to the side accordingly right behind your knee and maybe hold it with straight arms for a second see how you feel make sure your knees are comfortable it's a little tight one for the morning i know maybe rock forward a bit back a bit The width of your knees, very personal here. If you like, you can try to tuck your tailbone forward a tiny bit and then sink your tailbone back. Like you're trying to draw your tail between your knees and then back a little bit. Earlier movement, you can't see me doing it, but you can certainly feel that. You're happy to come down to elbows, come down to the elbows. Gonna hold for 30 seconds. Starting to loosen up a little bit. your way to straight arms first and then one knee in at a time very slowly out of this move lovely onto your backs let's do figure four stretch and then we'll have our strap ready for our straight leg movement right leg crosses left push that knee away push that hip down As you're ready, you can thread your needle. Bring that leg in. Try to push your knee away, either with your hand or with your elbow. Gently unwind, we'll make our way to the other side. Cross it, open it. And spread your needle when you're ready.
Gently unwind, let's grab our strap. Right leg to the sky, hook it onto the arch of your foot. And you can micro bend your knee, bring your leg closer to your chest, and then just point and flex your foot. And then hold the flex, see if you can straighten that leg out a little bit. If you'd like to straighten out your left leg, send that heel forward. do the IT band first so just turn your palm in and bring your leg four to six inches over to the left so your heel should be directly over your left hip flexor and then when you're ready let that leg fall all the way to the left let it go. Nice and easy with control, bring it back up. And outside of that foot and change sides. Left arch straight up to the sky. Let's point your toes, bend your knee, pull your hamstring close to your chest. And then go for your points and flexes. Let's hold it with a flex and maybe send it straight up to the sky. Right leg all the way out if you'd like without changing where this leg is. Right hand in the band facing your face a little bit over to the right. And when you're ready, all the way to the right. And when you're ready, bring it back up to the sky. Remove the band strap and meet me Shavasana. That can be laying in your corpse pose or if you have bar class next or you don't want to quite fall asleep, you can meet me seated. And check in, how do you feel? Mentally, physically. Surrender to the mat. Relax your breathing, just normal breathing.
and at least 10 breaths or a couple of minutes if you have time. Normal for a thought to maybe come into your mind, but just don't hold on to it. I will leave you to another luscious few minutes if you have the time. From my heart to yours, namaste.